Hi beautiful angels. Welcome to the Divine Guidance by Renu. My name is Renu and I'm intuitive tarot reader. So uh, this tarot reading is for uh, what wishes are coming through this month. So whenever you see this, uh, this reading, so from that day to about in a month, so what wishes are coming true for you? So I have four piles to pick from. Uh, here is a first pile is kyanite, and pile two is this bloodstone. Pile three is this hematite. Pile four is this citrine point. So take your time. You can pause the video to choose the pile and uh, you can choose definitely more than one uh, for your uh, situation more than one pile here so let's start with the pile one so let me remove all these three piles on the way so so hi pile one so if you choose this kyanite so what wishes are coming true for you this month so we'll check that so first we will check that what your focus what will be your focus this month so when you seeing this reading right so here we go so the first card is focused intention so you are uh, you're very much focused whatever you're doing right now you're so focused you just uh, keep working and working. You're doing very hard work where you're very spiritual. Maybe you're on spiritual path, a spiritual journey or spiritual based business that you're working on right now. Right? So it's like, uh, see that? So you are very focused and your third eye is open here. I can see that you're very connected to the divine. Your crown chakra is open. So the next card over here is a faith, humanity and benevolence. Stay calm, trust the God, good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. Okay, so you're also healing the throat chakra, maybe uh, your heart chakra, I think. So you're feeling calm, you're staying calm in this month. And uh, definitely you're he uh, healing yourself and you're serving the humanity over here definitely you're in path and you're doing something spreading the light as you can see that over here you are a light you are becoming a light for a lot of people you're spreading the life in uh, their life and uh, removing their darkness here so let's start with the what wishes are coming true for you so nine of earth is very independent free energy uh, you are enjoying the luxuries over here. What does it mean that if you are stuck with that? Uh, like if you have any financial issues going on right now in the present moment and although you're working really hard Whatever you're working, you're really focused. You're working really hard and you are maybe uh, You're uh, you are doing the you know uh, spiritual based business you're a light worker you're a healer uh, but you don't see that much of um, you know finances coming into your way so but th that's your wish i think that is coming through this month uh with this nine of earth here nine of pentacles that you're gonna enjoy the luxuries of your life you will have abundance you will be able to make money this month for sure so whatever you're doing you will uh, you will see a big success over here. Definitely big success is coming for you this month. So the next cover over here is the page of water, is the page of cup. It is like that you have given the light. You have given the light that you're moving forward. It is like a, giving a messages how to make changes in your in your current situation in your current workplace that uh, so that you can whatever the hurdles you feel that yeah that were uh, that were you know uh, stopping your progress now they are opening you can use those messages to make a progress or it's like you have to uh, you know make some changes at your workplace add some products add some ideas uh, different ways of doing the 
the things not the same ways the old ways so you adding something new new ideas whatever the message is coming is asking you to make the changes so intuitively you're getting some messages to make the changes at your workplace to reach here you know that's how you're gonna uh, your wishes will come true this month if you're listening to these ideas it could be some uh, uh, creative ideas too if you are into the creative business that you are uh, want to make money using your uh, using uh, using your products that you're working on creatively uh, creating those products so it could be like creative ideas or something new ideas to whatever you're working on so adopt those ideas make those changes so that you can enjoy this nine of earth here and i see you are doing it this month one more uh, wishes I can see over here. Let's see. Five of air. Five of air is that you have so much conflict inside of you going on in the outer world. Outside of you, it's inner or outer. It could be different type of conflict or both of you, both of them for few people. Lot of conflict around you or inside of you. You know, it's a sword energy. So giving you the stress this this is giving you the stress a lot of conflict energy that is going around so what is happening this month that is also your wish that is you going away from all those conflicts you're moving away you're releasing that you're releasing that negativity it could be your your mental energy your negative thoughts or it could be the people around you that is creating a chaos for you you know giving you so much of stress that you cannot, you know, get rid of that stress, cannot focus here, but definitely this is happening. So these are two major wishes that are coming true. You are becoming financially independent, enjoying that luxuries, and also you are moving away from that conflict energy over here. That's what your wish is coming true. So what, uh, what you have to do, the fairy guidance over here is the detoxification. Definitely, you to whatever the negative conflict going on inside of you with the or outer world, that is affecting you, affecting your aura, affecting your mind, body, soul. So you need to detoxify everything. Take a salt bath. Use the, you know, uh, use the sage. To clear the area, to clear your home, clear the energy of your home. So detoxify whatever the way you are comfortable with. You know, it is very important for you for this month so that you can, you know, freely come out of all those kind of negative thoughts, whether it was about your finances or about your people or other stresses over here. So... That's it, pile one. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like it, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please um, turn on the bell icon so you get notification uh, for all of my upcoming videos. And please, please, please let me know in the comment section. I'm not getting any comment uh, on this channel. So please, please, please let me know how does it resonate with you. So hi, pile two. So let's start with your reading. If you choose this bloodstone here, very beautiful stone. This is uh, this is for um, root chakra to heal the root chakra. So very very beautiful stone. So let's start with the reading. Your reading. So what is what wishes are coming true this month? So the first card over here. What will be your focus or what your present energy could be? So Joan of Arc, voice of truth, stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Yeah, I think you're stuck with the your truth. There is a, um, you know, when you are, when you um, get out of, you know, abusive uh, relationship, abusive behavior or abusive uh, kind of trauma or abuse, that your throat chakra is, um, you know, uh, is not open it closed throat chakra get closed that it is hard for you to you know say the truth discuss the truth with the people around you so you kind of in the fear of speaking speaking your truth over here that's what i can feel you know it's going on in your head continuously that you have to say it say it okay but you're not you couldn't 
that's your present energy i can feel that that you're stuck with that uh, you really want to speak the truth you really want to uh, you know release the fear but um, it's yeah it's a bit challenging for you so let's see what's going on over here definitely it's uh, about a relationship that you have been in the relationship that it could be very abusive relationship you had been there two of air is the it's you know mentally a uh, struggle is going on uh, between uh, you and your partner here uh, you are uh, you know you may be uh, you may be uh, separated over here for your spiritual growth but you are still struggling too much mentally you keep thinking about this relationship or about this partner continuously uh, you want to say the truth but it is you are like in inside of the fear uh, that you uh, you know keeping you um, uh, in a uh, like mental stress over here because you cannot you're not able to speak the truth 10 of air is over here is yeah definitely ending of cycle that's what you want to communicate that you want to release that um, you know release the partner release the, this relationship because this is the ending of the cycle you cannot just keep going with that stagnant energy so 10 of air you are releasing that so this is your dream coming true this is your wish coming true this month that you are eventually releasing this cycle you're ending this cycle you're freeing yourself you're moving out of that cycle you know freeing yourself so the next card over here is the four of earth four of earth is uh like you are very conscious about your money that might be the fear too over here that you're facing that uh speaking the truth and and also concern about the money issue how are you gonna independently walk without this person if you're not earning in enough or if you're not uh, financially independent over here but the angels present over here the fairies are here are saying that don't worry about that have a faith in the universe we are here to help you out you won't face any any uh, trouble over here so that's what the angels are making sure that that you will have enough money you might have saved some money in the past that might be enough for you to move out of this cycle so have faith in the universe you will be able to do that you know sometimes we are stuck in that energy that's why our abundance is also stopped we cannot manifest our abundance because we are not we are mentally uh, stuck with that energy and uh, lacking that abundance but and also this is a root chakra card a root chakra sorry crystal so it's like a work on your root chakra so that you can get out of this fear of manifesting abundance in your life let's see what are the fairy cards over here moving forward fearlessly yeah definitely uh healing the root chakra or maybe you will gather a lot of courage over here and uh, you will be given energy over here to move out of this cycle over here so definitely in this month you will be uh, able to do that that is what is happening so fairies are over here stop fearing yourself you know you are definitely moving forward fearlessly you will definitely um brave enough to do that so romantic partner so romantic partner is also new romantic partner is also waiting for you you know as soon as you come out of this cycle you will be able to meet this new new romantic partner and i see that this romantic partner is wearing this uh superpower uh superman kind of costume over here that might have a like somebody uh that is very uh you know um kind of entrepreneur person a very um, you know rich person that will help you out and then you also able to grow with him uh, emotionally and spiritually that will help you in all the ways he has a wing so it's a kind of 
will be angel for you that will help you in all your ways it will be the your true love that will love you that will care for you and that will whatever that you are fearing for abundance so you don't have to worry about that because he is waiting for you here waiting for you to help you out from any situation so thank you thank you thank you so much pile 2 thank you for watching if you like it please like share and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon and please let me know in the comment section that how did it resonate with you which pile resonate with you how did that resonate with you so thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye for now bye for now so let's move on to the pile 3 Hi, pile three. So, if you choose this hematite crystal over here, very beautiful crystal, very heavy one too. And let's see what wishes are coming true for you in this month. So, the first card over here. What is your energy right now in the present situation? The Miriam Sacred Vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Yeah, you might have got so much hurt in the relationship that you are healing it right now. So the the importance is that you see the light in all. Forgive them. You know, forget that. Release that an emotional energy. Heal that. Uh, you know that uh, trauma. So. you are healing right now definitely and uh, you're moving on so what is happening after the healing when you heal you will be done healing from that so the emperor so the emperor is very strong energy over here you are taking your power back you know you have given your power to to, um, to other people in the past but you're taking your power back you are becoming so much powerful you are becoming a leader of your life you are becoming independent you know taking your power back is the is the very very powerful energy that uh, you know what to do with that you are cutting all the cords over here like uh, there is a sword over here so you are cutting all the cords over here you are becoming the you know leader of your life you are becoming the king of your castle here So the next card over here is the high priestess. High priestess is very connected uh, with the divine, gaining too much knowledge, very experienced, you know, very connected and getting so many ideas and clarity, getting you know, awakening that what she needs to do in her uh, in her life. Getting all kind of clarity of about her path you might be on spiritual path because you are healing yourself and then you will be on the spiritual journey to heal other people you will lead your life first and then lead become a leader become a spiritual teacher becoming the high priestess for other people showing them the path become become the light of for their path for their spiritual journey so you are definitely making progress on your spiritual journey as soon as you take the um, as soon as you take the life back execution uh, take your power back you are you know making progress whatever the work you're going to do you will make the progress because you know what to do all the clarity is coming through the messages the next one is the page of earth page of earth is is like a transforming learning learning how to make the money you're a very humble person you're very grounded although you're not materialistic i see here whenever you heal and going through this big pro, uh, transformation over here you will realize that that money is not uh, you know money doesn't give you the happiness actually you are experiencing the real happiness that you are getting through your spirituality through your connection with the divine connection that's what's the real happiness is 
you're realizing that over here you're going through a big transformation here and you're learning something independently uh, you are a patient uh, be very patient person we're very calm person that you're waiting for your ship to come so you will learn and start something over here with the high priestess and over here you will be able to start making money you will learn something or some kind of skill that will help you to make money. That will help you to become independent. Because I see the strong connection over here. So the last cover over here is the dreams coming true. Definitely. So what are the dreams you uh, see, you know? This going through this transformation, big transformation, or your dream was that becoming a high priestess or dream was the emperor taking your power back, lead your own life, become the leader of the, for the other people, become the healer. So that all the dreams coming to, I don't have to, you know, uh, talk about this card. This says all about uh, the reading, like wishes coming true. So dreams coming true. Very strong card for this pile, the Emperor and the High Priestess. Major Arcana cards over here. Very beautiful reading pile three and thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And please, if you like it, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon for the upcoming videos. Uh, so you get notification for all of my videos and please let me know in the comment section. How did you, uh, which file resonate with you? and um so thank you thank you thank you so much bye for now bye for now thank you for watching so let's move on to the pile four here so high pile four if you choose this citrine point that's a stone for the solar plexus creative energy your life force energy that make you like gives you motivation motivate you that i can do it that kind of energy so let's see pile four what kind of energy you are in and what kind of wish is coming true for you this month so coin in care and compassion choose to be loved do what is right for everyone involved offer a helping hand definitely you are an empath you are very um, caring and loving person you know very loving and caring person strong empath you're so connected your crown chakra I can see that open your crown chakra and your uh, you know very calm and caring energy I think you like flowers a lot very very beautiful energy you are in right now okay you help everybody you are a giver. So let's start. Uh, what wishes are coming true this month for you? Ace of Water. Ace of Water is is a. a it, it will be the different energy for different people. Like uh, if you're looking for a partner, so you might get a proposal uh, from your Prince Charming or Princess Charming uh, this month. If you're looking for a partner, if you want to go into the relationship, so you are getting a proposal. It could be the, for. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, with the other cards here, it looks like a more to me the artist pile for the artists. So it could be that you're getting a kind of creative nudges like ideas, creative ideas intuitively so that you are thinking of starting, uh, you know, something creatively so that you have an idea. So write it down, jot it down, you know, so that you can use them later on. So you might be the creative people and uh, your creativity is coming back. So you are getting some ideas. If you were struggling in the past with this, uh, your creativity. It could be the intuitive uh, intuition. And a few people, if you are working, you know, increase your intuitive abilities. You may be psychic. You're taking the courses. So it could be that you are, uh, there is an increase in your intuitive abilities over here. It could be, it could be the different uh, different for the different people here so next is the queen of fire queen of fire is very uh, you know passionate very fiery very confident energy over here so the if you are a creative person or uh, if you are like um, psychic 
you know this passionate energy is you know fiery energy is giving you that motivation that push big push uh to start with something new or start with your new um creative based business or um you know intuitive uh business here very passionate energy so you will come totally in your creative power over here you are transforming yourself you know following your true self what is your true self are you a psychic are you a creative you know whatever is your true self you are becoming that with this fiery energy so the next over here card over here is the page of air you know if you were fearing in the past that oh i'm not good in the creativity i cannot show my project to anybody that uh, uh i don't think so they are good enough i don't think so i can uh, post them somewhere um you know on the youtube or somewhere i don't think so they are good enough that's a kind of ego if you were um stuck in there but right now you're coming out of that look at that how wild animals you are uh you're um you know standing between all those big fire um uh, big wild animals over here you know it means you are fighting those fears right now you're fighting those uh um ego you're coming out of that ego you're coming out of that fear that oh i'm not good enough you will become confident with this skin of fiber that yeah i can do it i know this is good i will prove myself so you know the big animals it's like overcoming your fear overcoming that ego that was stopping you for such a long time the next card over here the dreamer definitely so you see that again the animals are surrounding here and the angel is uh looking you from there protecting you right helping you uh, entering into the new cycle you see that the whole circle over here, here with this creative project with your creative abilities or with your psychic abilities you're entering a totally new cycle over here angels are helping you protecting you for that and again the animals over here showing that you are not you know you are over uh, overcoming your fear you're not caring about that now you are confident to do or embrace your true self your authentic self you will follow your dreams you're not gonna you know care about that what other people think you will be so confident about your projects about your work that you're gonna produce with that ace of cups that is coming to you the new beginning new beginning at your creative place at your workplace you are becoming your authentic self and you are ready to go through and to start with this new cycle that universe is providing you here the next card over here the last card the fairy guidance is the follow your dreams yeah i don't have to explain that so you've been dreaming on uh, that you were uh, like patiently uh, waiting for your ship to come here is the ship here are those ideas you just have to follow that listen to those ideas so that you can start following those ideas and take action with the queen of fire here that asking you to take the action don't just sit with it it's just gonna you know pass by you just have to take the action grab the cup you know grab the cup and take the action you will you will entering a new cycle new creative cycle new beginning of your true self your authentic self your creative person your very passionate person follow your dreams you have to take the action to start something to start a new cycle you cannot just sit or sleep to just see the dreams you have to follow you have to get up get up and follow that passionate energy and fulfill your dreams you can do that definitely you can do that with all these positive cards over here 
so that's it for pile fours thank you thank you thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank you for liking sharing and subscribing to my channel please 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 let me know in the comment section which pile resonate with you and uh, bye for now so thank you thank you so much bye